Hello all, welcome to part 31 of API testing training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate request section and response section in the Postman tool. So let's get started. So what is this request and response sections in Postman tool? In Postman tool, we have a request section and we also have a response section. So let me directly open the Postman tool. This is the Postman tool, guys. And uh, to see the request and response section, we have to select a particular API request, okay? So uh, you see there is a uh, workspace. Under the workspace, we have a collection, which I generally uh, call it as a project or something, which contains a collection of requests, okay? And uh, here, uh, under one of the collection we have, okay, this, this is a collection we created, users API. Under that, we created some folders to categorize the API request, okay? Let me take one of the API requests. This users is one of the API requests. Let me select that or single user is another API request. Let me select that one also. Anything is fine. Okay, let's take this one single user. And here, uh, this is the request, a API request URL. Okay, API request URL, this is the one. And here we have the method, API HTTP method, API HTTP method, this is. And uh, this section, whatever the section you are seeing here. Okay, if I take a screenshot of this, or I'll do one thing. open the bench okay now open this let me just crop this section now guys in this section this part okay from here to here this part is called as a request section Okay, you see the below there is another part known as response, which is currently blank. Okay, there's nothing in the response. I just need to you see you need to click on send button to get a response. Okay, I didn't click on the send button guys at this moment. So we only have the request here. This is a request case. Okay, request request section. And uh, this one is the response section. Okay, this one is a response section. Currently it is blank after I click on the send button. It will it will get activated and you will see a lot of stuff there. Okay, fine. Anyhow, this is the request section. Okay, this part is the request section. So what is there in the request section? HTTP method is there. Then we have this uh, API request uh, URL is there. Okay, API request URL, request URL or API request you can call. Okay, and here parameters. Okay, some, uh, some API requests will have parameters. For example, here uh, page, page is equal to is a parameter. Okay, query parameter. Okay, in the API request yeah, after question mark, whatever that is there, that is a query parameter. You see page is equal to whatever the query parameter after the question mark in the API request URL that is there here. Then we have authorization guys, then we have authorization. Okay, there are different type of authorization. I'll talk more about the authorization later guys, okay? So I'll talk more about the different types of authorizations and which one is the best one and all those stuff later. This section I'll cover later, okay? Then we have the headers, guys. Uh, we can also provide some headers apart from sending them as parameters. We can also send them as uh, headers. Okay. Then we have the body. We can also send in the send uh, some input in the bo uh, body. Okay. This is J uh, you can select JSON here and provide some JSON text, which I have already covered in the previous sessions in some examples. Okay. How to send the uh, request body along with this API request. Okay. Now, uh, but here it should be post, and then I have to give the body here. Okay. Then a lot of stuff is there, guys. Okay, this all these options, all these options. Okay, I don't want to go deep. Uh, I do, don't want to go deep in the uh, request section right now because there are a lot of options. Okay, I'm, I'm covering one by one for you. HTTP methods already covered in one of the previous session. This is a request URL also API request URL also. I bro broke down into multiple things and covered it for you. Okay, a lot of basics I covered as part of this API request. And uh, we already know why we click send buttons and parameters. We know. Uh, authorization is there, header is there, body we have already used, right? Apart from the, uh, in body, there are a lot of options here, okay? Any of the options you can select based on your uh, API you are working on. Pre, uh, pre script is there, tests are there, settings are there. A lot of things are there, guys, okay? All this section belongs to the request section, okay? Let me take it back to the get, uh, okay? And uh, let me go back here. So here, this API request and get, and uh, at this moment, the response is blank. Is there is nothing in the response. I just uh, click on the send button. 
the moment i click on the send button this request will, uh, this uh, this postman client will send this request to the server and server will process the request and send a response back to the postman client and uh, here we got the response you see the important things in the response section okay whatever that you are seeing here okay this section that you are seeing here is nothing but the response okay this part is the response part okay save response and this is the response part okay and we got a response also here important things in the response are the status code guys okay one of the important things that we have to check after uh, after after sending a api request to the server after the client making a request to the server whatever the response we got in the postman tool the important things uh, for every api request that happens uh, in the response is the important uh, items of the response are the status code okay i covered a topic on the different uh, http status codes so, okay 200 okay is one of the success status code like the different 1x category 2x category 3x 4x 5x categories i already covered the status codes section in detail uh, in one of the previous sessions you can refer that if you are coming directly to this video okay this is very important apart from this status code uh, this body section okay this body section where the response we got actual response we got you see this is a json response we got uh, sometimes we get xml response but nowadays guys most of the people are using json for it uh, lightweightness and all okay xml is an outdated one right right now xml is an outdated stuff okay everyone is using the json stuff so we got the response in the form of uh, you know json and sometimes we'll get the response in the form of html html and css and all those stuff okay here are the different options in which we can we may get the response for now whatever the response we got in this example is a json okay by default you see pretty and json are selected okay uh different type of options exist guys raw preview visualize and all those stuff okay depending on needs uh this this options will get enabled and you will see a proper output for now for this api request you see the pretty option and json selected and uh, you got the response in the json format uh with one record okay having the id as two here two is there so id two related uh, user record came here okay in the response okay these two are the important things guys uh, http status code and uh, the body where we got the json response in this example okay those are the important things apart from that uh, we are also getting some time here guys in 134 milliseconds we got the response okay after this request has been generated and uh, hit the server the server took this much of time to give you the response 134 milliseconds okay and size how much of data is being sent back to the client machine that is a postman tool from the server after processing 1.1 kb okay 1.1 kb is a thing and here we can save this response guys sometimes what happens is uh, you may have to show this as a proof or something and uh, let's say you are uh, you want to report a defect okay and you hit this and you go to the response and uh, you you want to share this response okay if there is a mistake in this response or something that you are getting and you want to re report a defect apart from the screenshot you can also save this response and attach this as a file in the uh, that uh, defect tracking tool or whatever it is or sometimes we may have to share this kind of uh, responses between the uh, in, uh, as a presentation or something even though they, uh, we are getting the proper response we may have to share this response here and there and then cross check whether it is happening for fine or not in such cases we can save that to the file guys okay save to your file just select that uh, save to your file and uh, you just hit uh, give some name guys okay mm, this is a single user single user dot json okay and uh, all files is there save this okay that's it the file got saved guys okay in the downloads folder i saved the file json file so this one you can uh, uh, single user dot json file you can attach in wherever you can use that as an artifact or attach it anywhere uh, it, it is needed to be shared with the other team members or whatever it is okay project members fine so the uh, postman is providing a lot of options here guys okay to save the response also okay so to save the uh, this particular whatever the response we, this is nothing but the output right the output uh, whatever the output we got for this api we are saving it somewhere in a file okay so that uh, will create a artifact or okay if it is perfectly coming we'll create an artifact and next time we'll cross check or if there is a mistake we can share with the other team members and a lot of reasons may be there okay so fine apart from that what is there okay request section you already understood guys uh, this get method and this request uh, api params authorization headers body pre uh, pre-request script uh, test and settings this, uh, this is the request section along with the send button and all okay and here response section after i click on the send button uh, the response uh, we got the response that is body and status code are the important thing apart from that we can save this to the file time and how much time it took and uh, what is the size that got delivered okay by the server uh, for processing this request how much amount of data has been sent to the client uh, sent back to the client from the server okay cookies if any cookies are being sent back from from the server to the client here you can see some cookies being displayed and uh, these are few headers that are being sent by the server to the client these are different headers 
and uh, the, uh, like the test results. Okay, this part is the, I don't want to dig deep into the response section, but uh, at a high level, this is the response section. This is a request section. Okay, request section. So with this note, uh, I think uh, I explained everything related to the request and response sections in Postman. So if anything is not covered in depth as part of this request and response section that will be covered in depth, let's say for example, authorization and all those stuff, okay? A lot of authorization op options here, okay? I have to explain about this authorization options for you, the important ones at least. I will be covering that in the upcoming sessions, guys, don't worry. So we'll be going step by step, okay? We'll not take everything at a go. Uh, we'll be going step by step in the, up in the upcoming sessions at the appropriate time, the proper things uh, about the postman tool or the uh, regarding knowledge regarding the API or API automation will be covered to you in a proper way. Okay, fine. Saving response to a file in postman, I showed you request section, I showed you and uh, it, uh, request section has a lot of uh, different things I explained. Response section also I showed you and what are the important things and what are the other things that are there in the response section I covered in this session. So with this note, uh, we completed this session guys, okay? So that is the uh, request section and response section in postman tool. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.